amazed, you know, that you're really into my music like that. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I want to say thank you so much, and I appreciate people like you, you know, who actually acknowledge me, not from cricket, but from the music side of things, uh, which I'm actually venturing into, so it's fantastic. And how it all started, you know, it was actually in the pandemic, you know, just when everybody was pretty much locked away, and we all at home had nothing to do, and then a friend, you know, called Stylogy pretty much say, hey, Chris, let's do a song together. But well, first of all, I was just joking with him, let's say, hey, let's do a song together. And then he turned up at my house during the pandemic, and then we did a song together. We were so fascinated. And then eventually, you know, the people accepted it. And because in Jamaica, if they don't accept your song, they're going to let you know, say, hey, that's rubbish. <laughs> and, you know, we don't appreciate that. Stick to cricket and forget about the music. And they accepted the song from there on. I'm like, wow, you know, let me try one more song. And then eventually, you know, they kind of like it again. And that's how I get more into it. And then, then I start to, to love it by singing. I didn't see myself as a singer or if you guys call it rap, at no time in my career, I was actually thinking about I'm going to be singing or venturing into music just like that. Uh, but anyway, long story short, you know, I get to love it. Then, you know, I went and built my own studio at my own house. And then, you know, everything kind of started to come combine together. And then I did the collaboration, you know, with uh, my likes of uh, Emmy Way. Uh, you mentioned we did that song with um, Tanto Blacks, We Come Out For Party. And then more songs keep following after and after and after. I'm like, yes. You know, so now the latest and the last one, not, not the last one, but the latest one with Arco, you know, O Fatima. Um, it's fantastic. You know, met Arco, you know, through Nishant. And, you know, I say, Chris, I know this guy, you know, he's very good. You know, he can write lyrics. You know, he have a lot of songs. He has composed a lot of songs to a lot of people as well. And he's doing his own thing. When he played a song to me, I was like, okay, yes, I, I want to be on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that was fascinating. And here we are today, pretty much, you know, launching, you know, our first song together. Hopefully in the future, more songs to come as well. And, you know, I really appreciate you guys showing the love, you know, from the music side of things. I know you love your cricket, but we are into the music right now. <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate your love. Okay. Like, if you have to rate all the songs which you've uh, done so far, where would you put O Fatima? O Fatima is right up there. Uh, o Fatima is right up there. It's going to be in my top five. But all my songs, I love all the songs as well. Um, even the, all the collaborations, you know, fantastic as well. The energy, you know, the vibes, the, the, the beats, you know, they actually in this particular song as well. It's fantastic. And it, the hook to it as well, you know, it's so easy, so easy catching. And that's what people like about songs. You know, once you can catch the hook, it's very easy to, to say. You know, it will actually, you know, stuck in your head. So I'm sure by the time you reach home, um, where they're going to say to oh, Fatima, you're going to be singing to the wife every single day, you know, I bet you. Every single day, you're going to say, oh, Fatima. And she's going to say, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then they're going to like, say, have you seen Archon Christie's song? Oh, go and check it out, you know? So it's going to be very, it's very catchy. Uh, my second question is for Mr. Yash. Uh, uh, Yashi, uh, cricket and, uh, you know, so, uh, cricket and uh, Bollywood, you know, entertainment goes hand in hand in this country. But uh, I think it's not enough to do a cricket and a cricket ka, uh, collaboration collaboration with cricket. तो इस चीज पे जरा कुछ कहेंगे कि सो क्रिकेट में सबसे बड़ी बात क्या है कि यू हैव गॉट फ्यू पीपल हु लव द गेम एंड देयर आर लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु लव द गेम एंड द म्यूजिक एज़ वेल क्रिस इज अ नेचुरल पार्टी मैन क्रिस लव्स द गेम डिफरेंटली एंड क्रिस लव्स द म्यूजिक डिफरेंटली इट इज जस्ट द मैरिज ऑफ बोथ बोथ द इंडस्ट्रीज एंड यू नो इट केम आउट रियली वेल सो a cricketer who can party well, who can sing well, who knows and understands music, I think we are game with it. So O Fatima is the product of that. And Orko, as one of the India's best composer, singer, lyricist, I can understand that this collaboration has been really, really fruitful and effective in the coming days. Hi, Chris. Uh, everyone is know you are a very good cricketer and very good dancer. According to you, which Indian cricketer is a very good dancer and also very good cricketer? <laughs> well, a lot of Indian cricketers, well, most of them are, well, not say most of them, a lot of them are very, very good at cricket for sure, and that's their priority. But the, we, we have seen a different side of all the Indian cricketers these days. 
um, based on social media. You, know, you see all those guys use shows, um, social media so much now, and it's all about the dance moves. You know, when I was, uh, was I, when I was with um, RCB, obviously we had some steps, myself and Virat, you know, you can dance. Um, you have Shika Dawan, have you seen him on the social media as well? He's fantastic. Um, is it um, Shriaz? He's very good as well. You know, you see those guys, Ishan, Kishan. Mm. So those guys have some moves, but they learn it from the universe, boss, so don't worry about that for sure. <laughs> you know, but it's good to see the kind of open up now and, you know, being, showing a different side of them rather than just you guys just seeing all the cricketers just pretty much on the field. It's good to see a different side and, you know, you want to say, hey, sometimes the social media is good, sometimes it's bad, but it's good to see guys, you know, showing a different side of themselves, you know, rather than just you guys just knowing them for cricket. They can have a little personality as well, and, you know, it's good to exploit those, those areas, you know, within yourself and make sure you say, hey, I can do this as well, so yeah. And you guys are very, very, it's huge here in Bollywood, so you guys love dancing as well. Arko and uh, Ramji, this is a very good song, so would you like to tell us how was the association with Chris Universal Boss? Ke Hello, uh, Arun? Hi. Yeah, hi. So, uh, of course, like I said, there uh, are many films, many kinds of songs. I've done it, Ramji has done it, many of them. But this, one, this is a very special one for us. पहली बात तो ये कोलैबोरेशन जो जिन लोगों के साथ है ये काम दूसरी बात द द स्टाइल ऑफ म्यूजिक फॉर मी इज न्यू मैंने बहुत साल पहले एक पानी वाला डांस किया था बहुत ही कम मेरे गाने हैं जो कि इस जोन में है तो ये मेरे लिए एक नई बात है और सीखने को भी चीजें मिलती हैं जब आप एक नए स्टाइल ऑफ कोई भी आर्ट फॉर्म में आए एंड आई वेरी थैंकफुल टू निशान भाई एंड अरुंदा फॉर ब्रिंगिंग दिस कोलैबोरेशन टूगेदर uh, the fact that uh, me and Universe Boss could actually shoot uh, in, in Dubai for three days uh, in all kinds of places. You have seen a video now. We didn't leave any place in Dubai. Ka. So, thanks to Ramji uh, for shooting the, such a beautiful video. Thanks to my entire music team, who join us after this stage. Pe hai. Uh, a song has a lot of people's efforts behind it. We are probably the faces of it, but there's a huge team working behind this. And as you can see, it's a big project. Uh, so we hope for your love, as much love as you've given the universe boss, as much love as you have given me always for my film songs. I hope ki aap utna hi pyar de is gaane ko. Thank you so much. Thank you. From my academy, well, I, want, I need to start an academy here in India for sure, and then I can introduce them to um, a lot of different things as well, separate from cricket, um, you know, teach them more about personality as well. Um, but you're speaking of an academy, to be honest with you, I, had, I used to have two academies, one in the UK, um, one, in, one in Jamaica as well. But, you know, it's actually been, since the pandemic, it hasn't been opened up, and that's something I'm looking to, to, to reopen again, you know, starting back up my academies, you know, helping youngsters to actually, you know, not necessarily be the best cricketer, but to, to how they can better themselves and what's out there in the world, and, you know, just educate them in, 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 on, a, on a different platform. But, you know, like I said, there's a lot to be learned, and, you know, the world pretty much changing very fast, and is, is how, how, you, how you actually adapt, you know, and what's happening within the world right now. My question is to Mr. Uh, Arun, uh, for bringing such a big collaboration, you know, music, we've, we've got the best, uh, you know, on the dais today, uh, Arko, uh, Chris, Ramji, and of course, as producers, Nishanji and uh, yourself, how challenging was uh, to put this project together? Actually, uh, surprisingly, not challenging at all. Not at all. These, all these guys are such great human beings and professional. Uh, everything that I may have heard of, working out with stars didn't exist. We all had so much fun, and just watching this video, I, I had some memories coming back to me. There was one, I think it was Mercedes Classic. Uh, we had to do one scene where both these tall gentlemen wouldn't fit. <laughs> so in the, in the last moment, we had to change the car. We, we also had a sequence where we were supposed to get Python around. We waited for the guy for like two hours, and the guy ends up with a snake. <laughs> And, and then snake was let loose, and everybody was running around to you know get the get this snake. And Chris, my man, he was even ready to put snake around him. Everybody else was like scared. And he's like, no, no, it's, it's okay, just put it on. <laughs> so yeah, it was a lot of fun, you know, shooting in like real uh, 
literally a lot of heat in desert or doing late night sequence, boat, everything. It was amazing fun. So yeah, very easy. Yeah, if I may add, 